Let's take a look at how to create a data list in Microsoft Excel. A list uses only column headings. Each column has the information for each item, and each row has complete information about each entry. This will make more sense in a minute. First, place your cursor where you want to start your data list. Then you're going to add your column headings. These are our field names that identify the different items we're keeping track of. You want to try and keep your field names short, and each one should be unique. Also, keep discrete pieces of information in their own fields, like having a field for first name and a separate field for last name. Once you have all your field names, go to the beginning of the row immediately below these headers and type in your first record from the data list. If you have any entries that need special formatting, like using the currency format for salary information, make sure you format the first entry the way you want them all to appear. Now we can turn this into a proper table. You're going to go up to the top menu, we're in the Home tab right now, and click on the option in the Styles group to Format as Table. Pick the table style you like, and you'll get a dialog box asking, where is the data for your table? It will automatically list the cell range for all of the cells that have text. So click OK, and there is your beautiful table. Something interesting to note here, you'll see that our headers are now pull-down menus. As you continue to add entries to your table, you have the option to sort in different categories. For example, you might sort the table alphabetically by last name. Now, since you have the table built, you can continue entering the rest of the records in the subsequent rows on the list. To do this, place your cursor in the last cell of the first row and hit the Tab key. Enter all your data. And when you get to the end of the next row, just hit the Tab key again to create a new row in the table. Make sure you don't ever skip a row, just keep entering them one after the other down the worksheet. And when you're done, you can hit Enter to click out of your table.